Last time on Star Trek Online. And these Ethereans came to your rescue then? Yes, Admiral. With their help, we made it back home. That's quite the story, Captain. Sounds like you're lucky to be here. Ops to Admiral Quinn. Quinn here. The Ethereum leader has arrived, sir. Very well. Send them in. I bring you greetings from the Ethereum Concordium. I am Tassin Fei, leader of the Starship Harmony. I come to you today with an offer of alliance against a common foe. The Borg Kingdom. This conflict is larger than you know. It is in fact a multiversal conflict. If we act together, we can bring it to an end. But we must act soon, or all will be lost. In this and every universe. Cordial greetings. I request your presence at a gathering on Station Deep Space Nine. We shall discuss the Borg Kingdom problem and potential solutions. We live at a perilous time, friend, but recall our axiom. Through harmony, we are secure. Through unity, we are strong. Together we will strive to defeat our mutual enemy and establish peace for one and all. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Tassin Fey, the leader of the Ethereum Starship Harmony, will be making a presentation soon, alongside one of our finest captains. While you're waiting, I encourage you to meet with the specialists here to get their insights on the upcoming operation. The summit will begin soon. While I remain optimistic, it is not a feeling shared by many of my superiors at the Assembly. Tholians are often slow to place trust in outsiders. While the Ethereans did provide timely aid against the Borg Kingdom, their extra-dimensional origins raised a number of questions within our leadership ranks. We know very little about them. While others may place their trust in them, it will not be easily won with my people.
We've held off the Borg Kingdom before, and we're ready to do it again. Our new allies were eager to join the fight, and I certainly can't argue with the results. The Aetherians have been in non-stop talks with the Alliance command staff since they arrived here. I have a feeling that whatever they've cooked up is going to be big. Maybe on a scale we haven't seen since the Iconian War. Good to see you, my friend. It seems we're about to set off on another bold undertaking soon. The arrival of the Aetherians was rather fortunate for those in the Alliance. Adding a new ally against the Borg Kingdom may well tip the odds into our favor. I suppose we'll learn of the action plan soon enough. I do hope it's a good one. Just heard from Ops. The briefing is about to start. Thank you all for coming. The attacks from the Borg Kingdom are a threat to us all. We've been working on a strategy with the Aetherians. Several tactical initiatives are underway as we speak, but there is a new critical issue to deal with. A reality vortex has appeared in what you call fluidic space. That region has a unique extra-dimensional nature. It connects to every point in the multiverse. If our enemy controls that vortex, they will be able to attack anywhere, at any time. Unfortunately, fluidic space disrupts Aetherian neural processes. So the task of closing that vortex falls to us. I'll be leading a strike force to fluidic space to get the job done. Hopefully, we'll achieve our objectives before hostile forces arrive. We will do what we must to succeed. Thank you for your time. May I speak with you for a moment? Sincere greetings. It is an honor to be working with an officer of such high caliber. We are grateful indeed. We have learned much throughout our conflict with the Board Kingdom. We were happy to share our knowledge, and we have provided technology that will improve your effectiveness against them in battle. Quite so. I believe you will find them most effective against our common foe. I believe Captain Dax wanted to speak with you before you depart. Are there any questions I can answer for you at this time? Most of our universe has known peace for many a galactic cycle. Our Concordium has been an integral reason for that. Occasional conflicts would occur from time to time, but most were resolved peacefully until the arrival of the Born Kingdom. We have known of them and the nature of their universe for many cycles. We did not establish conflict due to their hateful, violent tendencies. Unfortunately, they discovered our universe. Despite our efforts to prevent conflict, they followed their nature and launched a brutal invasion into our space. For the first time in countless cycles, war came to the Ethereum Concordium. After many cycles of relentless conflict, we have managed to drive them back to their own universe. The cost has been terrible. Entire civilizations lost to warfare, to assimilation, and now they are here, in your universe, seeking once again to subjugate untold trillions. We will not let them succeed. What happened in our universe must not happen here.
We have known of them and the nature of their universe for many cycles. We did not establish conflict due to their hateful, violent tendencies. Unfortunately, they discovered our universe. Despite our efforts to prevent conflict, they followed their nature and launched a brutal invasion into our space. For the first time in countless cycles, war came to the Ethereum Concordium. Do you have any more questions for me? If not, Captain Dax would like to speak to you next. Hello there. Nice to finally meet you. You've got quite the reputation. I'm glad you and your crew are joining us on the mission. We need the best and brightest against the Borg Kingdom. Glad to hear it. Fluidic space can be challenging. And that's before you add the Undine to the equation. They're not terribly fond of anything from our part of space-time. We're hoping to avoid any sort of incident with them, but shutting down that vortex is our top priority. The defense upgrades we received from the Ethereans are impressive. The enhancements to targeting, weapon modulation, and power systems will really make a big difference. They've also provided extensive tactical data on Borg Kingdom vessels and defense systems. We'll be ready for action should we run into them on the mission. Once we're back on our ships, my crew will use tech on the Aventine to open a quantum singularity. We'll use that to travel to fluidic space. Are you ready to go? The rest of the task force has assembled. Head to the following coordinates, and the Aventine will create the quantum singularity. Task force, this is docking control. Confirm your boards are green for departure. Aventine to docking control. Boards are green. Inoue reporting. Everything is green on our end. Docking control. Riscava reports green for departure. Acknowledged, Task Force. You are cleared for departure. All ships, make way to the designated coordinates. I look forward to learning more about fluidic space. I hope you don't learn about its dangers like the Undine. We're all set over here. Ready to take a trip to fluidic space? All stations report they're ready for action. Hope your helm's up to the task of piloting in fluidic space. The local currents can get a bit unruly. Unfortunately, local conditions are generating an unusual amount of sensor interference. We're not exactly flying blind, but our scanning quality is quite limited. Neither do I. If the Undine find us, we might not know they're coming until it's too late. And trust me, you do not want to be on the wrong end of an Undine ambush. Let's start with a coordinated long-range scan. See if we can gather more information working together. If that doesn't work, we can use deep space probes. By linking probes as we travel, we can create a sensor network. That should extend our scanning range considerably. Let's meet at the designated location ahead.
Long range scan complete. We're not detecting any sign of the vortex. I think it's time we try plan B. Let's send out a deep space probe. We're ready to go over here. Aventine and Rescava report the same. Once all the probes are deployed, we can head to their location and try another long-range scan. This time, boosted by the probe sensors. Monitor the probe trajectories. No telling how local currents will affect them. Good idea. A shift in current could divert them into an obstacle. We should head to the designated location. Fascinating. I do hope to return one day to conduct research. Good luck with that. The Undine might have other ideas. Look for any EM field spikes or drops. Could be caused by the vortex. Long range scan complete. Even with the probes, we're not finding anything. Probes on standby. Try these coordinates. We picked up something faint over there for a moment. Might be a sensor glitch, or it might be what we're looking for. Let's head to the next coordinates. I wonder if fluidic space affects Undine's sensors as much as ours. Assume they'll see us before we see them. I know those biosigns. It's a part of Gekli. Got something. Attention, all hands. We're detecting weapon fire ahead. Yes, and that's not all. We're also reading Borg Kingdom weapon signatures. Looks like they picked a fight with the Undine. Sure, that's wise. We might wind up fighting both the Undine and the Borg. Then again, the Undine may think twice about firing on us if we help them with the Borg. I think it's worth the risk. So much for the peaceful journey through fluidic space. I'm surprised it took this long to run into the Undine. Target Borg vessels only. Do not engage the Undine unless fired upon. Monitor Undine targeting. If it switches to us... An understandable precaution, Captain. Trust me. Things with the Undine can go south in a hurry. All hands. You are clear to engage the Borg. Defense it. 
seems we have a common problem and a common enemy. I propose a tactical alliance between us. We will remove Borg occupation forces from poetic space and eliminate the disruptive anomaly together. Unexpected, yes. Incomprehensible. Your alliance is in fact composed of a number of former enemies. Surely a temporary expansion of said alliance is feasible. Very well. We will travel to the provided coordinates when you are ready. A warning. Combat will be imminent upon our arrival. Watch out for the spheres. They may try to ram your ship and self-destruct. The Undine weapons are... fascinating. Fascinating and terrifying. Glad they're not shooting at us this time. anti-Borg systems on board, including a quantum field focus phaser. Properly recalibrated, we could use it to create a brief transporter window through their shields. Once we've opened the window, we'll beam away teams over to the Unicomplex. They'll find and disable the shielding around the Unicomplex, leaving it vulnerable to attack. A warning. The unit complex has considerable defense systems and a fleet protecting it. We will need to eliminate all defenses and enemy vessels before you can safely lower your shields and use transporters. Right. Moving into range now. Clear the local defense nodes and watch out for reinforcements. We're on it. Work fast, Captain. Moving to defend the Aventine. Good luck, Ezri. Hard to believe the Undine can't put a dent in the Unicomplex. If there's one thing the Borg excel at, it's adaptation. Even to a weapon like the Undine Planet Killer. How terrifying.
Now the real work begins. Two hazard teams, designations Alpha and Beta. Alpha's job is to take down the Unicomplex shield systems, while Beta will shut down the weapons and tactical arrays. If we're lucky, we'll be able to get the job done without firing a shot. I'll provide each team with some Starfleet gear designed to mask our life signs. None of us will show up on Borg sensors. We should be able to reach our destinations before they can detect us and scramble security teams. Once we've finished, we'll evac to our respective ships and regroup with the Undine forces. You know, this could be a golden opportunity to collect intel on these guys. Keep it to surface level intrusion. Too much digging around could draw unwanted attention. Initial battle with ISS Voyager was inconclusive. Borg casualties, 100%. Terran vessel eluded capture. Priority alert issued. Initiate sector-wide hunt for ISS Voyager. So the Borg Kingdom ran into the mirror version of Voyager. Sounds like their Captain Janeway made them regret that. Can't say I feel sorry about it. Esri, are you certain we'll remain undetected? The gear worked well in simulations. Wait, this is experimental tech? Ah, let's hope this plan survives contact with the enemy then. So far so good. The drones can't detect us. Dax to Beta Team. Report. We're almost to weapon control, Captain. Good work, Commander. Proceed. Update me if anything changes. Dax out. Efforts to track and capture ISS Voyager. Successful. Borg casualties. 23%. 98% of Terran crew assimilated during combat. Directive. Conduct detailed evaluation of Captain Catherine Janeway. Objective. Determine tactics and command ability necessary to defeat and evade Borg forces. Assimilation is not approved. My god. Things were a lot worse for the Mirror Voyager and her crew. 98% assimilation. Studying their Janeway like a lab rat to learn how to think and fight like her. Strange they didn't do that by assimilating her, though. I suppose they wanted the pure, authentic data, unfiltered by algorithms and cybernetic interfaces. I don't believe those drones are passive! Beta team to death! We're under attack! The board found us! So much for experimental time. Defend yourself, and be prepared to remodulate weapons. Understood, Captain. Beta team out. Dax to Beta team. Status report, please. Weapon control is secure, but the Borg captured Tanaka. Hang in there, Commander. We'll rescue him if we can. Fortify your position if possible. Weld the doors shut if you have to. Alpha will reinforce you once we've taken out the shields. Copy that, Captain. Beta team, out. 
That's the energy beam the Borg are firing into the vortex. Our initial scans of it weren't conclusive. It appears to be causing a tremendous level of fluctuation within the vortex core. Good question. I'm willing to bet it's nothing good. Right. There should be a control console somewhere in the chamber ahead. If we can find it, we might be able to learn more about the beam and its purpose. Maybe even shut it down. Console might have data on that beam. Let's check it out. What were you able to find? Hmm. I was afraid of something like this. It looks like the Borg are trying to modulate the vortex, control it. From what I can tell, they're trying to expand it inside. Consider it like It gets worse. From what I know about Undine technology, if they fire one of those planet killer beams at the Unicomplex while this beam is active, it could cause an explosion that makes a matter-antimatter reaction look tame. We need to shut this thing down before the Undine get trigger happy, or they could destroy most of fluidic space, and us with it. No, unfortunately. I think I've located the console that will shut it down nearby, though.
believe the door to shield control is just ahead. They're probably on lockdown by now. <sighs> Not wrong. Cover me. I'll override the control. That didn't take long. Multiple drones are closing in. Well, at least they're consistent. Doors open. We're in business. Take out that drone. The dendritic one. Room's clear. Time to get to work. While your squad takes down the shields, the rest of us will try to deal with that beam control console nearby. Join us in the control room once you've finished here. We might be getting a lot of company soon. Of the Borg variety. Captain Dax, this is Beta Team. Weapon control is secure. Well done, Commander. Proceed with your mission. Shields will be down shortly. Dax out. your designation. Resistance will be terminated. State your designation.
Acknowledged. Assimilation complete. Stand by for instructions. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Initiate function at designated alcove. Interface with console to complete interrupted subtask. Retrieve drone data from regeneration alcove. One of five. Provide task status. Update. Drone one of five. Assist with drone assimilation at designated console. Interface with medical monitor. Assimilation of Throne. Throne one of five. Provide task status. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Escort damaged drone to Alco for regeneration. Interlink with drone. Escort drone to regeneration Alco for integration. Transfer drone data to Regeneration Alcove. Drone 1 of 5. Provide task status. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Repel borders and weapon control. do it. Try it now. Stop them! Immediately! Wait, did you hear something? systems.
recover critical components from neutralized Borg drone. Drone 1 of 5, provide task status. Update, Drone 1 of 5. Neutralize remaining intruders and restore full weapon control. Target threat nullified. Begin assimilation. Data team to death. We're being overrun. Shields are still up. We can't take you out. Oh no. That's the rest of Alpha Team. They've been assimilated. Get out of here. Run. Run! Target threat nullified. Begin assimilation. Complete restoration of weapon control. Interface with designated console. Drone 1 of 5. Provide task status. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Transport to shield control and neutralize all intruders. Dax to beta team. Come in. There's no answer. Remember the mission. We need to take those shields out. We can help Beta Team once we're done. Let's make haste, then. Right. Let's get it done. Look out! Dax, are you okay? Come on, gang. Look out! Stop! You, you know me! We're allies! Help! Someone help me! One of five. Status report. Bro. Are you with us? Glad to hear it. Welcome back. Are you ready to go? Now the real work begins. Are you able to proceed with the mission? There's no shame in saying no. You need to recuperate. I injected you with nanotech designed to sever the link between the drone and the rest of the board. It's key to your individual biosignature, and only works for a short time after assimilation. Thankfully, we got to you and your team in time. Okay, there's still time to rescue Beta Team. But right now, we need to complete our primary mission here. We're locked out of the shield controls now. Do you have any insight from your experience with the Borg that could help us crack the codes?
Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you weren't successful. Any idea where we could do that? That's good. Once we rescue Beta Team, we'll send them back here to await transmission of the control codes. That should let us take the shields down before the Borg block access again. Ready weapons! Here they come! The danger is a priority target. They're inactive. We can help them. Praise Lucar. We need to hurry before more Borg arrive. Beta team is a little rattled, but they're ready to proceed with the mission. They're ready to transport back to shield control. They'll hold the position and wait for us to provide the access cards. Are you ready to proceed? Check the ceilings for Vincula. Watch out for bomber drones! I have a very bad feeling about this.
This looks like a command center. Okay, let's see if we can take their shields down here. You won't be shutting anything down, Captain. This is where your resistance will be annihilated. No, it can't be. Not always pleasant to look in the mirror, is it, Harry? Now, the smart move here would be to surrender for assimilation. I know you, Harry, better than anyone. You're going to play the hero for the last time.
word to the wise. Watch your allies closely. Their smile might be hiding a knife. I will not allow it! It's going to be alright. You're safe with us. Harry. Captain Kim! We need to return to our ships, Captain. Encounters with your mirror self can be rough, but I not only met him, I fought him and saw him die. Yeah, I'll be fine. I am a little worried about Kamarke and all. I know she's been through a lot, but to kill someone in cold blood, even a Borg. Right. We still have a job to do, no matter what. Shields are down. down the central beam they were firing into the vortex while you were captured, but now they're firing three beams at it. It looks like they're trying to escalate whatever it was they were doing to the vortex when we arrived. Easier said than done. While most of the Unicomplex is unshielded, the Borg have large capital ships shielding the emitters. We'll have to deal with those ships before we can take out the emitters. The Undine Planet Killer is en route to this location, but it won't be able to fire until the emitters are out of commission. We need to take them down as soon as possible. The Undine are still with us, moving into formation. They're doing their part, Captain. Time to do ours. If we don't take these emitters out, we all lose.
their finger off the trigger until the emitters are down. They're aggressive, not suicidal. Right. Let's hope these Ethereum upgrades keep us in the fight. I'm reading a considerable increase in Borg defenses there. Helm, best speed to point Gamma. Engage. That octahedron won't go down without a fight. It's in our way, Captain. Take it down.
To the Alliance and Undine Fessel, I offer sincere greetings. You have succeeded against staggering odds. Unchecked, the odds of them attempting to recreate a vortex are high. Simply put, we must be vigilant. I trust you have detected the vessel within the new anomaly. This is most irregular. Under normal circumstances, we would order them to depart the sector or face destruction. But as we both know, these are not normal circumstances. As long as that anomaly is in place, these Ethereans are protected from any attack. We will be watching them, however. Quite generous offer, but we must decline at this time. This will be an internal matter for us. I can't say I'm surprised they turned down your offer. Still, what happened here today may very well be the first step toward better relations with the Undine in the future. I think it's time for us to go home. Wouldn't want to wear out our welcome after all. Are you ready to depart? There are plenty of people eagerly awaiting our report on DS9. Then let's not keep them waiting. See you there. Before we turn in our reports, let's stop by medical and have those Borg implants removed. I happen to know one of the doctors there very well. He'll take good care of you. I'll let them know you're coming. Are you ready to go? There you are. Welcome back. The procedure was a complete success. No more Borg implants for you. Is the patient clear for duty, Doctor? Yes, of course. Then if you're up for it, the command staff wants to debrief us. Be safe out there. Doctor's orders. Your report on the events in fluidic space was quite thorough. The temporary alliance with the Undine was unexpected, as was the arrival of the Ethereans. I will update the leaders of the Assembly. 
I suspect they will want to monitor the situation in fluidic space quite closely. Should another incursion occur, they will want to take action. Well, my friend, once again we have prevented a great calamity. It's becoming something of a specialty for us, I think. I'm perfectly fine, thank you. The Lucari are quite resilient people. I will endure, don't worry. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. Thank you for the kind advice. I don't know about you, but it's good to be back. I don't plan on visiting fluidic space again anytime soon. I'm still processing the fact that we fought alongside the Undine. They aren't exactly known for being team players, at least as far as the Alliance is concerned. Anything's possible, but I wouldn't expect an invitation to any holiday parties from them anytime soon. For now, it's like a wise man once said, it's in the purview of the diplomats. I have to say, Borg modifications weren't a good look for you. Thankfully, my chief medical officer was available to remove those. Besides being my husband, Julian's one of Starfleet Medical's best. Don't mention it. Between you and me, I'm concerned about Comarque. I was a counselor on GS9 during the Dominion War. I know post-traumatic stress when I see it. She's a fine officer. We'll need people like her out there if the Borg Kingdom comes back for a rematch. That's a worry for another day, though. For now, their invasion is over. Thanks for all you and your crew did to make that happen. I reviewed your after-action report. Well done. Losing fluidic space to the Borg Kingdom would have been disastrous. Agreed. This could be a turning point for our relations with the Undine. More than a few members of the Diplomatic Corps are enthused about the possibilities. Joyous greetings, friend. Your mission was truly a successful venture. Along with the Undine, you have repelled the forces of the Borg Kingdom and disrupted their command structure. With luck, many cycles will pass before they will be able to pose a threat to us again. For that, the Aetherian Concordium owes you our sincere pledge of gratitude. Your efforts prove, once again, that through harmony, we are secure. Through unity, we are strong. May our friendship continue to grow deeper in the cycles to come.
Shall we play a game? Ah, the starship. A grand, majestic vessel. One to take mere mortals where no one has gone before. The final frontier. The greatest adventure. Yawn. Oh, don't make that face. It's quite unbecoming. You came for a starship, so a starship you shall have. After you do a few things, of course. This year, you will be able to earn daily progress by participating in a number of different eligible activities defined for the event as a whole. Some activities are worth two daily progress. Some are worth one. You can earn up to two daily progress each day. Return the next day to keep toiling for my amusement. And after you've earned a total of, oh, let's say, 40 daily progress, I shall grant you your beloved new starship. Have some leftovers from stabilizing Omega Particles, do you? I heard you starship captains really love solving mysteries like this. So I should just let you figure out what to do with them yourself. Fine, fine. You can use your primitive research and development system to combine these Omega Remnants together. You can combine a red, blue, and yellow Omega Trace to make an Omega Sliver. You can then combine three Omega Slivers to make an Omega Shard. Three Omega Shards become an Omega Fragment. Three Omega Fragments can be combined into an Omega Upgrade Kit. These can be used to upgrade your equipment. And I am told you captains just love your upgrade kits. Yes, yes, get on with it. You minor races get so worked up about the silliest things. Omega particles, for example. Simple little molecules and all the races of the galaxy go collectively insane whenever one makes an appearance. It seems that you all feel a desire to go out and stabilize these particles in order to prevent some sort of disaster or something. Fine. If that's what you want, I'll help you. I've created dozens, no, hundreds of Omega particles, and I put them in your most social areas. Go. Clean them up, if that's what you're so eager to do. Just don't expect me to help you. Shall we play a game?